On this episode of the Science of Music, we'd like to introduce Adam November, a student at the NYU Music Technology Program. Adam's built an awesome homemade electric slide guitar, and today he's going to talk a little bit about the principles behind building and playing your very own. So instead of on a normal guitar where you press with your fingers against the fretboard to change the pitch, here on a side guitar you use a glass slide or a metal slide or some other hard surface to create a new end point for the string and change the pitch. If you understand the principles behind it, building something like this is actually very easy. Almost everything here can be found at your local hardware store. The only other materials you need to find are a guitar pickup, which you can buy at any guitar shop or take off one of your old guitars, a quarter inch input jack, which you can find from Radio Shack, and if you want, a handy little clip-on tuner. So the first thing I did was just attach my L brackets to the 2x4 here and here. I made the distance between my bridge and nut exactly one foot because it's a pretty easy distance to work with. I was careful to line the L brackets up so the bolts across would make for a parallel bridge and nut. Next, I attach the tuning screws. I only screw them in part way to give myself lots of room for later adjustment. Now, they're a little less sophisticated than what you have on your guitar, but they're doing the same thing. All that happens is when I tighten the string, it raises the pitch. When I loosen it, it lowers the pitch. You've probably seen this guy on your guitar. It's called a pickup. In a microphone, you wrap wire around a magnet to create an electromagnetic field. The same thing is happening in this pickup, except six times, once for every string. So when these strings are vibrated, the magnetic field created by the pickup is disrupted, and that signal is carried along this wire over to the output jack, where you plug in the quarter inch cable to your amp. When attaching the pickup, I first placed a wood screw directly underneath it to support it and set the height. Then I put two small nails in the sides to keep it in place. Most pickups will have two output leads, one carrying your signal and one carrying your ground. Then I soldered those leads to the correct points on the quarter inch output jack. So you've probably noticed on your guitar that the frets start larger towards the top of the neck and get smaller as the, as the pitch gets higher. And that's because those distances between the frets are measured specifically to create a certain string length which will create a certain pitch. So I've scaled down those distances to make fret markers of my own. I only picked five uh, frets to mark because I didn't, I didn't think it was necessary to put all 12. But this is the 12th fret, this is the 7th fret, this is the 5th fret, the 4th, and the 3rd. So musically, that's giving me the octave, the perfect 5th, the perfect 4th, major 3rd, and minor 3rd. You can use screws or paint or whatever you want to mark these distances. Next, I attach the strings. I use the top four strings from a normal pack of electric guitar strings and anchor them to the guitar on either side of the wood here and here. So I wanted to make this so that I could actually play with other people and play songs and make real music with it. So I tuned it uh, as a minor seven chord, which has a minor triad on the bottom and a major triad on top with uh, the, two, the two middle notes being shared. So very easily I can play any major triad I want on these three strings. And minor triads on these three strings. And there you go, now I've got my own hand-built slide guitar.